The coronavirus emergency caught us in the middle of a very exciting project at Warszawska Opera Kameralna. Castor et Pollux by Jean-Philippe Rameau, an opera first written in 1737 and revised in 1754. My concept for the staging and choreography of Castor et Pollux at Warszawska Opera Kameralna is shared with the artistry of conductor Stefan Plevniak and set costume and light designer Francesco Vitali. For this concept, I was inspired by a reading of the libretto through the lens of esoteric astronomy and tarot. The opera tells the myth of the origin of the Gemini constellation. Here, it is interpreted as a metaphor of the personal journey of man from the darkness of doubt and error to the conquest of a godlike status. Complete human awareness is acquired through the harmonization of contrasting inner forces. <laughs> Brothers, Castor and Pollux, are in love with the same woman, Telair. Two sisters, Telair and Phoebe, are in love with the same man, Castor. Pollux, king of Sparta, immortal son of Jupiter, turns to his omnipotent father after his brother Castor's death, only to find out that he can't help him. Pollux must set out alone on the initiatory path that will eventually reunite him with his brother through the pain of renunciation, but also with the sweet awareness of receiving greater good in return. As brothers, Castor and Pollux are united as twins, Gemini. The mortal and the divine part of man unite when full personal realization is achieved. The main characters are portrayed as the tarot major arcana, a meditation system and a tool to investigate relationships and thoughts connected with astrology and filled with wisdom from multiple cultures and esoteric traditions. Their sequence represents a path to spiritual self-awareness and the various stages in the quest for greater human meaning and understanding. At the beginning of Act 3, where the libretto suggests that Pollux should offer a sacrifice to invite Jupiter to manifest himself in the temple, in this staging, the Grand Prêtre is meditating while reading the tarot in order to call the god to him. Castor is associated with the hangman representing self-denial, acceptance of personal sacrifice, disinterest, submission to duty, a moon-venus influence, and the zodiac sign Pisces. <laughs> Je suis 
The card associated with Polyps is the magician, the counterpart of the hangman. Seen as areas in the zodiac, he represents the starting point of action, a Mercurian influence, dexterity, eloquence, generosity and restless energy. Tilaïr, daughter of the sun, embodies the stars. This card evokes a sun-venus influence, the Aquarius zodiac sign, immortality, hope, human love in all its beauty, trust in fate, realization through order and harmony. Telair and Castor love each other deeply, but there is no place for feelings like theirs in Jupiter's final solution. They will be separated for the greater good. Telair will be transformed into a beautiful star adorning the night sky, while Castor and Pollux will take their place in the zodiac cycle as the Gemini constellation. Telair's sister Febe is the moon, also associated with Pisces, and pointing at darkness, agitated consciousness, errors of the senses, deceptions, disappointment, jealousy, troubled and passionate feelings resulting in disorder. Her jealousy will take her to the underworld, looking for her beloved Castor, and will ultimately kill her. to the zodiac sign Taurus. He is a dispenser of intellectual, moral, and physical laws and logical solutions. This card represents a Jovian influence and powerful feelings, solid affections without sentimentality, as well as duty and morale. Mercure is portrayed as temperance. This gentle card is associated with Sagittarius as the arcane of conciliation, encounter, balance, transformation and healing, pouring universal harmony over individual imbalance. He helps Pollux to defeat the infernal monsters and cross the door to the underworld. <laughs> An alternating dialectic is established in every act when the dramatic tension momentarily loosens in the choreographic divertissement. The dancers initially embody the inhabitants of Sparta and different aspects of brotherly relations. In real life, not all siblings are as generous and loving towards each other as Castor and Pollux, so we see conflict and separation, rivalry and loneliness take the stage.
the dancers transform into the characters that meet Pollux and Castor during their initiatory path towards reunion. Celestial pleasures, infernal furies, and happy inhabitants of the Elysian fields. <laughs> Shakon, the dancers perform as planets and zodiac signs according to the libretto. plays a very important part in this opera, commenting and accompanying the protagonists in their initiatory path with many different characters, Spartans, athletes, furies, celestial pleasures and shadows in the Elysian fields. <laughs> joined historical gesture and baroque dance with Tanztheater in order to create a stage language that is specific for this production, aiming to use deep knowledge of historical sources towards a new, personal, historically informed yet contemporary style in staging and choreographing this 18th century piece. <laughs> I look forward to returning to Warszawska Opera Kameralna with Stefan Plevniak, Francesco Vitali and the rest of the creative team for the full realization of Castori Polutz. See you soon, Warsaw!